to complete this animations project, so we're going to be working on the login form. So you're going to go on the login view controller. So you have two outlets. So first the email field and password field. So what we're going to be doing is animating this login form in order to animate their appearance. You're going to see that when we launch the screen, so the app, we're going to click on continue. You're going to see that they're not visible for now. So we're going to animate their appearance, allow them to appear like sliding from the left of the screen in order to go to the center. So for that, we're going to use again in view did appear animate with duration where you see the commands. We're going to start with email field. So what we do to begin with is positioning these fields outside of the bounds of the screen. So in view did load, we're using center X first on the email field and we assign the value of view bounds width. So we use the minus and equal sign in order to decrement this value and assign it at the same time to the X position. So that's going to position this field outside of the bound of the screen. So that's the same also for the password field. So we're going to update this in animate with duration. So when the view appears, so we're going to copy this line of code and then paste it right here. Refer to it with a self and also updates. So this one by using plus, the plus sign instead, and that's going to allow to position this field. So at the center of the screen, we're going to do the same also for password. So that's it. We're going to run the app. You're going to be able to see that first we're going to have the splash screen. Then we're going to click on continue and we're going to have so those two fields appearing. So sliding from the left. And in order to make it less stiff, so add some originality, you can update the value of the using spring, using spring with damping. And that's going to allow it to create like a shaky, bouncy effect. So this time when you're going to start the app, we're going to be able to see that when you click continue, we're going to have that effect. So that's something that you can achieve by playing with the values of the using spring with damping and also velocity. And remember also that the lower the value of the using spring with damping, so the more pronounced, so the less subtle will be the bouncy effects.